So welcome to the very first After Drive in front of an audience, and we are not in California or New York, although it may look like that, uh, because we are in a very cool place called Cafe Rider, bike shop and uh, coffee shop, and a lot of car meetups happen here. We're in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Matt Farah was, and Mike Musser are also good. here. Well, you that like was that? much cleaner that than I thought better. it was You managed to not flub it, good job. <laughs> oh look, see, <laughs> I, I finally get these two guys on the show and I get crap immediately. Well, you know, it's time cool. zones. I was, I was, one, one take. It's yeah, one take. One, take. It's one take. You have to do it in one take. So why are we here in the Gulf region? We're shooting the Middle East special for Drive on NBC Sports season two. Um, that'll air around the Bahrain Grand Prix. I've got Matt Farah and Mike Musto here with me. Um, what did you guys think when you came to Dubai for the first time? First or here? time. This is your first time, right? First time? I was here for 17 hours once. <laughs> I, like, I flew 38 hours to, to get here, 17 hours to drive a car, which was yeah. fun. But what do you think? I, I mean, my whole impression of this place was like the streets were paved with Zondas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, that's no, all we see. So that's, that's, that's what really you true, think. But the streets are paved in marble. Right. right outside of our hotel, though, which is amazing for traction under extreme braking. Well, do you know they there do? Not. They do that on purpose so you don't go fast over those because they're basically parts of the street are paved with tile, yeah. like ba not quite bathroom <laughs> tile, but it's, like you don't get a lot of traction. It's not bathroom tile; it's entryway tile. Right. You know the the, the Caesar stone and the marble. It's very nice yeah. until you actually need to stop or turn on it, <laughs> and then it's not so nice. Right. Stay off the throttle. Yeah, at yeah. that yeah. point. Um, but the streets are not paved with supercars. They actually, they're actually a pretty, pretty big car well, culture. I mean, if you look at what, where our perception is, right? So before I came here, the only thing I've seen, you look at the Dubai police force that has every supercar imaginable. You look right. at every video, right? Which yeah. is just 2,000 horsepower Nissan patrols and Ferraris and Zondas and everything else. Where it's, after today, I mean, there's, there's an element of that, yeah. but after today, it's completely different. My well, whole, there's everything my whole, everywhere if right. you know where to look, you know what I mean? So, yeah, but I mean, like where our hotel is, like seven Aventadors drove by, you know, while we were having breakfast, and right. like 14 Brabus G-Wagons, <laughs> and you go, okay, well, this is what this is going to be like, and then right. you come out here, and there's like real people. Dude, there was a 66 Caddy on bags. Yeah, yeah. Slammed I know, outside. that was amazing. Like, really? Yeah. So, I mean, for Big Muscle, you're gonna be shooting some stuff here. Oh, yeah. So, I like, what have you seen that you wanna shoot, and what, um, you know, what cars are you going to shoot? Have you booked or, or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, we saw a couple actually. We found, you know, an old, you know what's interesting? Like, being in California, northern and southern, right, we see trophy trucks all the time. Yeah. I mean, driving on the street. Yeah. Out here, we're so used to just being inundated with like Nissan patrols, Nissan patrols. Some guy built like an early 70s F 250 trophy truck. Yeah, it's cool. And it's, it, it's amazing. And he's also got a 68 fastback Mustang. Well, and so it's like we. That was you, very nice. That green was beautiful. very nice. And yeah. everything is. The trophy truck you look at and you're like, I just, I want to bring it back to California. Right. I really don't want it, I don't want it to be here. I want it, personally. Well, we're going to have to talk about, like, getting stuff from here to bring back because I've seen a few things, uh, Dude. you know, that I would love to pack up well, and bring back. You know what's interesting is that, you know, we have our own take on classic cars, how we do them and what we expect. They have their own style of yeah. how they do it, which is kind of cool. We look yeah. at stuff and we look at it and go, I think I kind of want to bring that, what they've done back yeah. to the U.S. But I mean, it's it's interesting because they have. It, you got to look at the venues where people are, you know. Yes, there's in the city where people want to be seen. Sure. But now there's out on the dunes where you're driving a Nissan Patrol, which is basically like Nissan's version. For if if you don't know what that is in America, we don't. We it's like a Land those. Cruiser. It's like a yeah, Land Nissan Cruiser. Land Cruiser. But here, you know, there are. You go out on the dunes, and that's what you drive. Yeah, where you drive buggies. And that's because that venue is perfect for that thing. Sure. And they're like 1,300 horsepower. Like, would you? Are there, Which if is we, sufficient. It's sufficient. It is for sufficient. dunes. You need yeah. the horsepower. But we, you know, I don't know whether we would be able to quite utilize that in New York or part. No, probably not. The know, most probably efficient not. way of no. travel back. Home. I mean, well, New York City is about as close as you can get to off-roading on pavement. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. I'm excited about the Lexus LS 400s. You're seeing a lot of those right here. All Lexus LS 400s end up in the Middle East. It's yeah. the new Mercedes 300D. How many did you count? So uh, we sat. So while um, while you guys were an hour late to lunch yesterday, come on, I was Thaddeus an hour late. and I were waiting, and we counted in ten minutes, forty-four of them. 
Wow. Yeah, first and second generation Lexus LSs. So do you still think you have the, most, the highest mileage LS? I, I can't prove that I don't, but I would bet that the real highest mileage one is in this area. <laughs> but, I, but from what I've heard, every one of them has rolled back odometers, so we'll never know. <laughs> I wear my mileage with pride. Right. I guess not so much here, but, right. but they're, they're everywhere. Yeah. They're indestructible. Best car in the world. So, Finest piece of engineering in the late 20s. Well, no, no, no. How much money did you put into it since you bought it? Uh, How much money have you put into in it? In maintenance? Just in maintenance after... $2,200. Okay, now how much more does it need? What doesn't work? Does the AC work? Yes. The heat work? Yes. Suspension, everything? Yes. Brand new. Brand new. <laughs> okay. The, the, the automatic kick down doesn't work. That's it. <laughs> Only that's the last thing that doesn't work. Everything else works. Well, yeah, there you go. Finest piece of automotive engineering in the 20th century. <laughs> 900,000 miles, bro. If you can beat it, if you can beat 900,000 miles in a Lexus LS400, I will buy it from you. Wow. You make a sale there. That so is what a, we do. We use the media to get things. You're supposed to use the media to sell things. Oh, is that how it works? Kind of. Yeah. Dylan Optics, the official eyewear of the Stolen Time. <laughs> so, so, for, so for NBC Sports, we were here doing the show that we're going to be doing uh, around the, basically, the Bahrain Grand Prix, right? Or can we say that, JF? Yes. <laughs> All right, ready? So why are we here? We're shooting a Middle East special for Drive on NBC Sports based around the, uh, the Gulf region stops on Formula One. So Bahrain, we were in the other day, and uh, then we went to Abu Dhabi, and uh, then we moved on to Dubai to check out the dunes and uh, what was told to us at least to be the best driving road in the area, um, and it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty dirty, pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you guys got to do your Formula One thing, your circuits, your Yaz Marina, your Bahrain. JF exiled me to Oman. <laughs> Which, Oman um, is a beautiful place, by the way. So I'm told. But you were there. Come on, you I had a good time. I maintain my position. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> it is a beautiful place. It was just, it was, uh, it was interesting. We, you know, I, I'm more of a road tripper than a than a Formula One guy per se. Right. So yes, I mean, two white men in a two hundred thousand dollar car road tripping in uh, in Oman. It's subtle. Well, that's my favorite part about this film. It's subtle. <laughs> we blend. Yeah. Um, you know, we, we spoke the language, yeah. we were right at home, um, well. our, our cell phones and credit cards worked perfectly there, uh, which was my favorite part of Oman. They have, they, they have, the, the Omani people, can I say, they know how to lay asphalt. Those are beautiful silky, ribbons of delicious. Silky Road. Yeah, yeah. How many, how many uh, 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 cliches can we make about ribbons of asphalt, uh, uh, expanses of tarmac? With yeah, you the could go sleeping there. Sleeping ocean vistas. <laughs> uh, well, that's why you there. went. Because we all thought there. that you would appreciate all of those things. And we learned something about the people of Oman, which is that as, since there are no bars there really, and no uh, oh, not how'd you much deal drinking, with that? Well, I, I found a way. But but <laughs> but what they do is they go to the beach and they drive in circles. Oh, that's it's, nice. It, it, we have this in in uh, you know we, they call it cruising in Detroit. Except Detroit has Woodward, right? You know, uh, L.A. has Beverly Hills. You know, Dubai has the the circle around the Burj. Yes. Oman has none of those things. They have a beach, and they drive their LS 400s on the beach in circles. It's amazing. That sounds nice. We ate street meat. It was delicious. But did you camp? You camped out though, didn't you? We did. We I did. did. So, How's your back? It's great. I mean, fortunately. Uh, there's not a fortunately, but, for, you know, but <laughs> camping. No, yeah, it would be, uh, the beach was beautiful. Yeah. It, was, it was. It was good fun, and, uh, and uh, drive that stretch of road is pretty spectacular. Okay. So what was cool about that road is, like, we were the only, it seemed like we were the only people there. There were maybe a couple of other people on it. But we were driving, and a Bugatti Type 35 passed us, like, Which on the, the left side. The it was most like, non-Dubai of cars. It's like an old-school Europe car. It's right, not right. like a... That's you see them like in Pebble a, Beach, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Right. About it. And yeah. we're like, what is that? Well, actually, we have that car right here. <laughs> yeah. and oh, it's, sweet irony. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet irony. <laughs> Turns out, actually, that car, I've spoken with the builder, is an exact, exact replica down to all the parts and mm -hmm. and I posted a picture on Instagram people were like reminds me of a Fiero kit car dude no not let me tell you so much the, 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 the workmanship on this is spectacular that that car is the original big muscle yeah that's straight true. eight yeah. supercharged yeah. that thing whistles and yeah. even as a replica whistles. it costs more than the Aston Martin I've been driving yeah. for the right. last four days yeah you so it, I mean? it was very fortuitous that we could see this car super on cool. that road 
Um, so, so we're here at Caffeine and Machine, mm -hmm. and this is where the sort of the ground level, the grassroots level yeah. of car culture is here, not the Zondas traveling around the Burj, but this is, you know, this well, is where the people are. Well, did what? you expect? I mean, I know my perspective, my perception of, of Dubai was that the streets were paved with LaFerraris and Zondas because that's the only thing that you ever hear. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know when we pulled up I was going to see a bag 66 caddy. Right. Right. right yeah. Right. And the, the Evo Club, you know, the Camaro Club. It's the actually, wide body Mustangs are outside. Yeah, it's surprisingly similar to what you see in the States, actually. Right. And, and, and the conversations that I've had with with all of these enthusiasts are surprisingly similar yeah. to the conversations I had in the States. I mean, sort of the bond of, you know, modifying your car and... and but did you uh, think that was going to be here? Uh, no, I didn't. Me neither. I had no idea what to expect coming yeah. here. I, I was sort of thrown off by yeah. the whole thing to, to see... And the 300 hour of, flight from Los yeah, Angeles. Yeah, and well, to see a, a line of Evos and then, a, and then a bunch of Mustangs and, a, and some trucks and yeah. it's... Yeah. it's, it's, it's I didn't think Mustangs were that, that popular Dude. here. There's Mustangs. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's I hear a lot of body Mustang outside. outside. Well, well, by the way, gas is so cheap here Dude. that it's an absolute muscle car heaven. I would be, yeah. I spend on average probably 100, uh, 200 miles a week on fuel yeah. back home. Yep. Right here, it's yep. like, it's free. In Oman, it's free, was, but it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Gas yeah. was 74 cents a gallon. <laughs> it's a I filled up. I filled up the uh, the Aston for nine dollars. It's like 1978. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, right. It's I mean, like going back to 1978. If you buy a V12 Aston Martin in this country, and you put enough miles on it, you can actually make that back in gas in fuel. <laughs> you know true. what I mean? Versus, yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Like you could, sure. If it only costs you nine bucks to fill up the car, yeah, you yeah. could you could hypothetically, yeah. if you did that math, there's a mathematical curve in there yeah. somewhere that yeah. which that'll point work out in your favor. It becomes yeah. an economy car, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It becomes a Prius. Yeah, um, that, it's really cool. I mean, and, and people here are really into it, and, and they're you know talking about diversity of shops, right? So there are the shops that build the thousand horsepower Nissan Patrols. Yeah. Um, by the way, turbos. This is like turbo country. Everything's turbo. No, here. So you say that, but all the people I've talked to outside have said turbos are the worst here because they all heat soak. Well, that's it. well, it's interesting because like, the, like but, I talked but, to twenty people who said they would never ever put a turbo on. I their don't know, car. dude. I heard a lot but, of turbos were whistling by this. Yeah, morning. yeah. No, but the other thing is, but you need you need the turbo torque to get up up the dunes, right? So you need oh, the dune I mean, stuff. Yeah, 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 so the, the dune, dune stuff yeah. sort of flavors the rest of it. Yeah. And a lot of the trucks have turbos. You're right. A yeah, lot of yeah. like the Evo guys. The sports gonna, cars are yeah. not that into turbos here because right. this right it's. It's not cold right now. It's probably 85 degrees outside. And it's winter. And right. this is their, their yeah. cold season. Yeah. So, but like the, um, what's amazing is driving around Dubai is, let's be honest, it's not a driver friendly city. For no, all the car culture sprawly, that's yeah. here, it's, it's sprawly and you get lost and there's speed bumps everywhere yeah. and then and there the are those stance club out here oh they and must I'm be. Like, there's like there's like 20 guys they got the stance club dubai yeah and i'm like what do you do Dude, about this and they're like outside they go well though. we just scrape the whole way yeah <laughs> all right so have you seen anything you'd want to bring back to the states from here yeah a lot of stuff you know what i i've seen the stuff that they modify is different than how we modify it in the states so i'm more more apt to bring back ideas yeah. which is kind of cool, right? So like in Northern California, Southern California, East Coast, every region has their own aspect of what we're doing, of what their take is. Yeah. Their take here is completely different. And it's really cool to talk to the owners and go, why did you do it this way? And it's like, oh, well, we took a little bit from here and a little bit from there. Yeah. Like now that I saw that trophy truck, it's like a 72 F-250 trophy truck out there. I'm like, I, I know. I want to take that back. It's I mean, a pretty, pretty diverse bunch. Yeah. I've seen like, I've, I've had great conversations with people here, but like I haven't seen anything other than a Nissan Patrol. That you that you can't get in the states, and actually, really, uh, our our Englishman's Carrera RS is probably oh. the most drool worthy. That was pretty drool worthy. Well, because everything else that's out there, we get it. I, you know, we have. I, I can anything that's there. I could. Yeah. With enough money, you just go buy. Well, but but. I, I think the, that that speaks to an interesting phenomenon here. Is that I, I think it's it, Dubai is moving past that initial stage of people buying just the most flashy things. Like we're at that the second stage of car enthusiasm where people know enough to look yeah. for yeah. the specific cars that you know have meaning in the car world, like the RS. Well, it's something know. different, right? Yeah. So here, 
anybody, I mean, with the means, that can obviously go out and buy a La Ferrari or a Zonda or whatever the case is. Right. But to, to see a classic Cadillac or a vintage Dodge or something like that, there, there was a 61 bubble top outside. Yeah. Like, that's, those get the attention. And, and talking to the owners, they'll pull up and say, you know, we go to gas stations. We can't fill up because we're blocking traffic. Yeah, Whereas right. if, if I take my Ferrari or if I take my Zonda, I can pretty much go in and go out. Yeah, nobody yeah. really noticed the uh, the 918 at the gas station. No. It's true, and there was that other 918 yeah. too. Yeah. Right, I mean, so we, we found a friend on the, <laughs> on the way With somewhere. another 918. Yeah. yeah but yeah. that's the perception. That's the perception of Dubai that I had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think right? that, well, one that is absolutely confirmed is G-Wagons. Well, that's right, tons I mean, and tons of G-Wagons. All of the Bravis G-Wagons, yeah. all of them. Yeah. yeah. And it's, yeah. I, I, did you see any when you were in the sand? Because I only saw them there, dry, circling There were the none. Well, we were there. A lot of Silverados, though. Yeah. Loads What's of with Silverado the, the Chevy too. trucks here? Chevy's yeah. big. I mean, Ford yeah. needs to, Ford needs yeah, to step Ford it up there up. because Chevy, right. Chevy owns this place. I've seen a bunch of Raptors. Yeah. Bunch yeah. of Raptors running around. Yep. It's a good Dubai car. That's right. There were a lot of Raptors, but not a lot of just regular F-150s. Like, yeah, it's, I know. it's basically it's like Chevy country. Oh, you know what's cool? Yeah. It was interesting talking to Phil and he was saying that you know here when you see a pickup go by and it's a little bit stance a little bit rake to the front doesn't matter what you're driving just don't even bother. a thousand, yeah. horsepower. thousand horsepower yeah, whatever yeah. it is and yeah. big sand tires on the back I like, didn't expect dude. to see bro trucks yeah last yeah, yeah. night I saw a couple <laughs> of bro trucks I was like come on like really <laughs> yep. like a, a lifted like I was I couldn't well, you see that. we have this thing called the internet that everybody has right so every no, I mean like, that's the thing it's sort why of why do the bro trucks have to make it to the internet in the first place <laughs> well because well actually that's the real problem this isn't is it? stop filming your <laughs> bro trucks it's spreading but this is where they <laughs> shut it down this is where they actually have utility like you can drive them on the dunes like this is These the place very that shiny and clean and I Chrome oh, those shock absorbers. I don't think they were on the dunes. Probably not. There, there's no. a couple of trucks outside that we looked at. Yeah. And here's the other thing. We saw a, a Toyota Land Cruiser outside that when you look at it, it's bone stock. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then you look underneath, full on trophy yeah, truck. Yeah, and right, I was like, right, right. Oh. I, I like, talked to that guy. Cool. He was all about his super sleeper Land Cruiser. Yeah, we might. We might but yeah, you know what? Play with that. So th I think in some ways this is the opposite of Norway, where like it's all about the winter builds. This is like the summer builds. Like if you're yeah, in an yeah, air-conditioned yeah. garage, so you do you do the you know you do your work in the in yeah. the in the summer when and it's too hot to go also out. Also in the summer, and that's the you, winter. <laughs> yeah. There's, no, there's exactly. no winter. That's it. So all right, final thoughts um, on uh, Dubai and the Gulf region in terms of cars. Really good people. Yeah. Nice cars, friendly, friendly Honestly, people. like, this is one of the I, I best events that we've been to, I think, in terms of meeting people. Yeah, everyone's super nice here. And, yeah. And I, I, I everyone, I, people were coming up to me and handing me keys, literally going, here, would you, would you please you, drive my car? Well, you're a celebrity. I guess. You're an is that Matt Farah? Oh, it is. It's like, it, can, it I, is. can you introduce me to Matt Farah? It could be worse. Man. Yesterday, the guy on the hill. That was that was the one. That was funny. Hi, nice to meet you. I love your work. I'm going to take a picture with Chris Harris. That was. Uh, <laughs> that should be that should be the footnote to this whole and if trip. The monkey I'd were like here to, today. Is, that's what it would have been right, today. Right, exactly. Like, Chris <laughs> had to leave, Chris had to leave, but it would have been like, hey, can I take a picture with Chris? Harris? That's yeah. actually. <laughs> can we make a T-shirt, a drive T-shirt. Drive, drive Middle nice East. Can you. I take a picture with Chris Harris? Nice to meet you. Love your work. Where's Chris, Chris Harris? Harris. Take a picture of Farrah with his hand out. Right. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for uh, After Drive from uh, Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Um, if you're ever here, go to Cafe Rider because it's an awesome place. Yeah. And uh, the coffee's fantastic. I just had a flat white for the first time. You never had a flat white? Never. Delicious. We don't have those in New York. We have Delicious. Greek coffee don't, cups. Don't go on a tangent. No, no, no. Flat lock it down. Good. Lock it down. As a matter of fact, <laughs> lock we down. Need another Do flat it for the kids. White. We're going to get another flat white. Or coffee. That's right. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Can we expense the coffee, Jaya? Yes, we can. Jaya. All right. I say yes. <laughs> Hey, welcome to After Drive from Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we're here for. Uh... Hey, welcome to After Drive. It's the first After Drive from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. You Dubai, Dubai from Dubai. Okay. Why are we here? We're here uh, producing and middle. Relax. Don't kick the Ducati over. Don't. 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 <laughs> You're totally fine, Mike. No, I'm not. All right. Mike, for the kids. Okay. <laughs>